Quiet little ringers going for a take. Cool fucking kicks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. what I, I'm getting, man. You already know. Take one. Are we rolling? Because I got a, I got something to say. Hey, let's let's go. Go. <laughs> you already know. You already know. And this is you already know. Fucking party started. Okay. Welcome to You Already Know. He's Keenan Thompson. I'm Tony Maroli. Welcome to episode 100. I think we got a special guest today. One the incomparable. Thank you very much. Come on, Iron man. Beyond Mike special. Tyson. Beyond special. Listen, uh, before everything started, I did a whole bunch of mushrooms before I came here. As you should. So you should be fairly great. Gonna- we got, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, today, I did a whole bunch of mushrooms and stuff. So you should be feeling great? Uh, it's un- unexplainable. Did it kick in yet? Or are you uh, still waiting? It's starting to come right now. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as I woke up, yeah. I microdosed. As soon as you uh, came here, I took another microdose. Hey. Oh, I, I, I maxidosed. Oh, you maxidosed. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you live, man. Bro, don't threaten me with... Yo, don't threaten me with a good time, guys. Let's get this party started. Legendary. Troy? You know, because oh. my buddy said you only did shrooms consciously. I, you have shrooms here? You yeah. have your own shrooms? Because I have my own shrooms. You have shrooms here now? I carry always shrooms. Let me look and see. Come on, I got hillbillies. Wow! I don't fuck. I got chocolates and shit. Chocolates? Hold on. No, 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 no. You guys are doing drugs, man. Kim doesn't recommend this. NBC doesn't recommend this. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, wow. Let's fucking go! Here in the forest. That's what I came for! Oh, nigga! Yes! That's what I came Ooh. for! Holy shit! Yeah, you wanna grab and fix this? You go wherever thing you wanna go, here. Mike. We got these are point eight and these yeah. are straight naturals. You wanna weigh him or you wanna rip right into him? Cause I'll rip right into him. Yes, I'll rip right into him. Say no more, Mike. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. Whose water is it? Mine. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right, so you don't even need it? No, I'm gonna rip the gorilla style. Keenan doesn't advocate any of this stuff. NBC doesn't advocate any of this stuff, by the way. I'm just, yeah, I'm just chewing, chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if you know about you already know. Yeah, let's explain our podcast. By the yeah, way, I'm about an hour in, I'll be tripping balls. So, if you just see me sitting here sweating profusely, profusely or happens just to me as well. I feel like a fucking... I'm at a spelling bee. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, I want to turn the head like, oh, 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 Fuck. Nigga. See if they got the AC. Y'all got the AC on? <laughs> These motherfuckers about to be pouring. They about to be pouring sweat in here. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be we're black men that like to laugh. Hilarious. The banging's gonna happen. You're gonna figure this out in the audio. God bless Amazing. you. Though. God bless you. So, you know, you already know we're a record, we're we're a podcast, but we also have a record label. <laughs> we're we're you know, if Cash Money is the army or Betty at the Navy, you already know records is SEAL Team fucking six. You got damn right. Who the artist? What are the artists at? I'm about, I'm about to show to you right now. You one of them. Its name is, or they's name is Humpback Chunk. Hey, baby. Why are you, why are you fucking with me? No, this is real. <laughs> this ain't real. Yo, why are you fucking yeah. with me? Keenan, tell, tell him. Tell him. It's, it's real, and these are our hopes and dreams to start a label with these specific artists and put them on tour because these are the very comedy Yo. goats of the industry right now. They are the truth. <laughs> I believe you. Yo! <laughs> what? <laughs> All in the bed. That's Kool Aid in there. What? Oh! <laughs> You know that person? I mean, we're like spirit animals. Okay. But we haven't connected in the flesh yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I was a they, I'd be they. I'd be her. They. What's her name? Humpback Chunk. Humpback. Yeah, she's going to cue this on her YouTube and use this for her life. <laughs> this is going to win on TV on her grade board. Okay. Tell her. Tell him, Humpback Chunk. I like her. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Like exactly. It. I had to just vibe for a minute, check it out. You know the first I mean? appearance, hey, what the fuck? But then, yeah, yeah that's, she's what, on. that's what we're saying. You never know. Yeah. Cause she came in saying she just nutted, and you're like, you just nutted. What are you talking about? She just nutted. She just nutted. She nutted. But man. she nutted at the mentality of the chick that's making her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, like, I'm following her all the way. Come on. I'm following her all the way. We just did what we did. You know what I'm saying? You're feeling we're gonna that. be there, bro. 
we're going to be there for the next hour. Keenan, good luck. Next artist. Next, hey, no, next, no, look, no, we're going to see somebody else. Oh, okay, okay. My, bad, next my bad, my bad, my bad. So, you know, normally we start with an SNL recap every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we start with an SNL recap every week. This is a special week, so we're going to let it lie. And we're going to get straight into it. Mike. Yes. Take us back. I will. Late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. You're a fly, young, African-American man. You're outside to Upper Dam. All right. Tell us what happened here. Uh, I'm Listen. As you know, I'm a little chunky. I'm fat. I'm drunk and shit all the time. If that's chunky, that's crazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I'm drinking, I'm high, and so I'm going to Dapper Dan because I'm telling Dapper, hook this up. I'm coming back from D.C. See, I got the fucking, the fucking car right there. Rolls Royce. Yeah. So I come back from D.C. I, so I want my, my clothes ready. So I'm in yeah. there, and I'm talking. Next thing I know, I'm talking to these guys. When I'm talking, everything stopped. And they had stopped. I turned around, it's this motherfucker talking wow. shit. Mitch Green. Talking yeah, shit. Mitch motherfucking Green. <laughs> talking shit like I'm a bitch and shit. Well, I, Is I he from And why? He gets talking really crazy. Wow. Really. With really, Jerry Curls. Really grimy to me. Really grimy. Right. Really grimy. That's crazy. And did. did I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did he put hands on you or you were like, nah, it's a wrap? Oh, this is where it gets tricky. I'm trying to be a good nigga. I got all these endorsements, you know, fucking Coca Cola. It's all right, 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 right. You trying I'm to be positive? A, I'm a fly nigga, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before this shit, right? Yeah. And so, um, I was walking away, and I get in the Rolls Royce. No, I'm not. I had hit him, and and I hit him. I dropped him, and I thought he was out cold. So I got in the Rolls Royce. And so he right there, he I, I iced him. Mm -hmm. so I thought he was cold. So I go in the Rolls Royce. I'm tired. I'm overweight. I've been drinking. And I told my friend, hey, let's go. But this nigga pops back up like Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and because he's on, he's on, he's on Angel Dust. Yeah. yeah. Angel so, Dust. Every time, wow. Uh, Ryan the King. Look, every time I'm hitting this nigga, I know I'm hitting this right. nigga. His head is always going up and it comes back up. No. So I'm like, this is that bullshit, right? <laughs> so, um... I try to get in the car, and, I, and I'm tired. And the next thing I know, this motherfucker pops up, and he jumps in the air. So I, it's a convertible, so I thought he was going to come on the car. So I'm like, looking like this, but he don't. He missed the fucking car, and he falls, and he breaks the, 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 the mirror, yeah. the mirror off. Crazy. And so, um, and the after. I got out of there because I was mad because this motherfucker Rolls Royce, man. Right. And he took my mirror. I'm right. fucked up now. So the car costs what? Around... Three, so that's like thirty thousand dollars this motherfucking mirror, right? right? So I have to go check this nigga for that. He wasn't gonna pay me back. He didn't have no money for if I sued him to give it to me. Right. So I had to. I got really mad. Yeah. Oh, oh. So you, you beat the zombie up. The zombie won't go down. He's like a Mexican prize no, fighter. But once he jumped in that fucking, once he fucked my motherfucking car up, boom, boom. Once he went down, boom, and he had to hit the fucking go, boom. Nah. And some crackhead said, oh, shit. <laughs> the crackhead said, oh, shit. And I, I just got in the car and I just left. But I, thought, I thought he died. Uh -huh. And then I see, him, I see him the next day on television. Hey, Mike Tyson uh, sucker punched me and ran. <laughs> sucker punched yes. me and ran. Yes. He's a coward. Jerry you understand? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the courtroom, right? And we're getting nervous now. because I'm thinking... They gonna get this nigga man the doctor. I say these white people don't like me. They're jealous. They gonna get this fucking sap. All these fucking money. Right. So I'm getting ready to um, talk to the lawyer and make a deal. Seven. Mm -hmm. I might get this nigga three or five million dollars, right? And then I thought um, the pellet, the guard, said, <coughs> <coughs> no, I got, he said, mm -mm. the guy came out. I guess he got thirty thousand mm. dollars. I was getting ready. Um, I was getting ready to bring him off. Yeah, yeah, right. it's over. It's cool. Right. And then I got. Um, the bell that came on said, mm, 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 it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> said, they love you, man. People love you, Perks champ. Perks of being a fucking That's champion. exactly, oh, man. God. People love you, man. A hundred percent. He came, his mother was crying and everything inside. My, my baby's face is broken, it's crushed. I'm like, fuck. And I started getting mad. I started getting feeling bad because the mother said, we should give him some money or something, mm -hmm. right? But, um, but where, where was all that confrontation coming from? He just wanted to like approach the chamber. Did you know him? 
I know him, yeah, oh, but you know. Um, I fought him before, but he oh, tried for, he was drugged, he was right, drugged, he right. was drugged. So PCP wilding out on the street. Yeah, Mike Tyson was around, he was like, fuck Mike Tyson. Oh, yo, yo, pull up, I'm pulling up. You just going to get some clothes, no, and then all of a sudden. I went up to my friend's pigeon coop, I was in my friend's pigeon coop, and I'm coming downstairs, and this nigga's walking across the street. Crazy. I'm like, fuck, and he said, hey, babe, let me just do it back, give me some money. I don't know, I just give him everything, I'll take it off, it's, it's chill, chill, you right. know, leave me the fuck alone. Crazy. You're protecting him from you, you're protecting you from you. Yeah, take the money, he said, mother, can I get a couple of dollars, he's getting everything I had. Yeah, please. The fuck away from me. I feel you. Wow. It's, I, was, <laughs> I always wanted to know that, yo, I'm, I'm, from, the, I'm from Upper West Side, grew up in Washington uh, Heights. The Mitch Green story this, was always this, legendary. This man is so crazy, man. I heard he's a born again Christian now. God bless him. Hey, but I, this work. man was so crazy. Listen, then he saw. Listen, he caught me one day. I went my girl. I went this girl. Another time. And this guy, it's like a bunch of people. He's like, you fucking faggot bitch, nigga. Yo, my crazy, man. Bitch ass, nigga. You suck upon me, you faggot bitch, nigga. And I'm with the girl. And, people, and everybody's looking at me. And this sick motherfucker's talking. I'm like, oh, uh. it's yeah, yeah, take it. Take it. Yeah. Just have uh, some more. Man, this uh, guy's crazy. He was told you, you you never saw a human being like him in your life. Mm. I, I don't want to meet every human being like him in my life. Like life. Holy crap. Oh, moving on. So He called me Sicily Tyson. No. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Take a shot. Sicily yeah. Tyson. Uh, God oh, bless. Bitch, you want to hear the Ella Sicily Tyson story ever? Shout out to O'Neill McKnight. So O'Neill McKnight is Andre Harrell's little cousin. And he used to live with Andre. He used to be like Andre's like help guy, right? So one day he goes to the store to go get some dull orange juice, dull pineapple, mango peach. He's in the store, sees a lady, black lady with a bassinet on, glasses, sitting, walking, shopping, no glasses, bassinet. Looks, he's like, is that Cicely Tyson? Oh, he's from down south, Lynchburg, South Carolina. He ain't never seen celebrities. They only exist in TVs. So he walk, he walks up. Excuse me, Miss Tyson. Uh, uh, you know, it's an honor to meet you. You know, she turns to him. Not right now, nigga. Not right now. I'm shopping. I, I understand that. <laughs> oh shit. Crushed him. <laughs> Crushed him. Also, Cicely Tyson using the N word. Yes. It's, hard. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. <laughs> I don't know if I should be mortified or I should be happy. She just cursed me out as the N word. I would, I would have been happy. Yeah, yeah it's a nice it, 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 It's to see you know That was I mean? a performance. You got a performance for free from a legend. Basically. Yo, he said at that moment, I felt like I walked into a movie scene and I was like, not right now, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walked in there like, and take, not right yeah. now, nigga. <laughs> we have to understand um, <laughs> that we're still human beings too. Mm -hmm. That um, they don't know our mother might have died today. Yeah, you were Muslim and what? They they don't know if our mother died today. No, oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Come on, man, can get a picture, nigga. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, like, they don't know if our mother died. Is. They don't know what right, happened right, to right. us today. Is that true? No, you oh, okay. it could just it's in general. general. I was about to say, they don't like, know if something bad happened like, to us today. Should we out our condulences? Like, okay, no, nah, yeah. took the shrooms, Kenan. Yeah. Who took the yeah. shrooms? Y'all two did. Yeah, just Yeah, I'm just always on space. Full space out. No, they don't respect what you have to deal with. Personally, you dealing with some personal shit. Hey, Mike, thank you, my greatest ever love. Look, get right. bitch, nigga. Right. No, fuck you. Mm -hmm. If you got to catch it, no, no, I'm sorry. Come on. Yes. Right. They can't sympathize with your situation. Yeah. They possibly empathize, but they but can't But you sympathize. have to be professional. You have to understand this is part of the job. I was just about to say, how do you go about handling that? This is that? part of the job. Yeah, right? And every now and then, every now and then, but the percentage is, you hit, fuck you. Every right. now and then. Now, see, whenever that happens. That's 99% 90, is cool. Right. That 1%. Don't be that one out of hundred niggas, bro. Part of my language, yeah. Kings in Latin box. My bad, bro. Right now, I feel we you. We all bro. have a hey. What the fuck, you ungrateful motherfucker? You're fucking with me. I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. I just gave you the drugs when you came in. I don't want no problems. As soon as you shut <laughs> I up, appreciate. Like, yeah, yeah. Dog. Yes, you did <laughs> the right <laughs> thing. You did the right thing. See, you know what I'm saying? But I, the right it, whenever there's a conversation that goes wrong, no, you know what I'm saying? You. Thank medicine. you. Thank you. For the you medicine. gave me the medicine. Thank you for the I was sick. I needed medicine. I'm well. Yeah. I'm well. Yes. I'm well. Thank you. I'm well now. I'm with you on that, brother. But I'm I feel you. Like, I always want interactions to go well because the times that they went left, it always makes me feel, I feel like I walked away. Like, they get their fuck yous, but I walk away feeling bad. You know what I'm no, saying? No, but like, that's because you have to be um, comfortable with being who you are. And mm -hmm. the part, that part of you you don't like about yourself. But that's mm -hmm. what you have to be comfortable with. Yeah, that's I just want to make sure everybody's having mechanism. fun. Hey, yeah, but don't have too much motherfucking fun of my, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the cause of me, I'm a human right. being. Remember, right. I'm a human being. Sometimes I forget I'm a human being, mm. but remember, I'm a human being. Yeah, and that's where it gets tricky. 
Let a man go about his day. See, as a f- dude who's five foot five, five six on a good day, ladies, um, <laughs> I respect the fact that it can always. All right, men who are smart understand that we operate by a thin veil of violence. At any time, that one thin line can be crossed and something can happen. It has nothing and, to do with how big or small you at are. At all. So I'm always cognizant of that, no matter who you are. And then on top of that, if you're a celebrity or you're or a female or something, that's a- added layers. But I don't think, I think the society we live in, because it's so civilized, because lawsuits exist, because of all these systems, mechanisms that were there to protect us, but somehow kind of fuck shit up. People don't think about that anymore. They don't think like, yo, Mike can come across my jaw and change my whole my whole mental chemistry uh-huh. right no, now. It's not even about physical, it's about why would you hurt Mike's feelings? At bottom at the baseline. That that yeah. that um will cause me physical disrespect me, no, but you hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I'm sad and I want you to be sad. <laughs> and we already know pain. We yeah. already know, dude. We are right. pain is relevant, but I'm sad now. So I want you to be sad. Bingo. And that's where most of, that's where a lot of the issues come from. They call that the spiral. Absolutely. Right. Hurt people hurt people. Bingo. Mm-hmm. A thousand percent. Mm-hmm. A thousand percent. All right. Let's move on. Because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We have a limited amount of time with you. So oh, limited. man. Go so for it. All right. Go for it. I'm, stay comfortable, brother. We, I, hey, listen. You're the champ. I mean, listen. I'm, I think I'm getting, getting pneumonia. You don't feel this fucking cold air coming out? No, let me turn it down. <laughs> yeah. Bring it yeah. 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 cold out. God damn. You take that's this. That's the shrooms. They got you yeah. too. You feel like everything. Get you yeah. cold. See, we, we was hot before. I'm gonna still be sweating though. Don't worry. Sweating yeah. is good, man. Fat, I like sweating. I like sweating. I like sweating. You all right? I'm a sweater. Sweat is good. So you have yeah. a lot of super ill famous lines. You're 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 one of the most quoted fighters of all time next to Ali and 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 people of that cloth. Oh God. Yeah, it's a fact. But one of my favorite lines or 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 just monologues from you goes as such. And I'm gonna try to do this. I'm not gonna try to be like you. I'm just gonna say it. Lennox is a conqueror? No. Oh, I'm a madman. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm Alexander. Oh, He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their cloth. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. impregnable. And I'm ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. That shit hits different, bro. You know, um... Unlike most people that are pretty educated, um, I know scriptures. I know, I know, you know. I used to know a bunch of stuff, and I, I add that with like some PT bottom, some wrestling shit, mm-hmm. and bingo, nigga. Mm-hmm. Showtime. But are you guys friends? Who? You and Lennox? <laughs> oh, close friends. That's good. Close friends, yeah. Are you friends like with most ex fighters? No. Yeah, it's only a few. Very few. Like, where's Holyfield at? Did y'all ever like squash like that? Yeah, like y'all good? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. He's funny. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's a good dude. Beautiful. Shout out to College Park. It's yeah, kind of yeah. ironic that rappers bought ex- both y'all ex-mansions. Rick Ross bought Holyfield's mansion. Right. 50 got bought your old mansion. Just rappers just out here uh, living hey, in y'all listen, shit. Hey, um, listen, we live like... Um, we lived the era. We lived like a decade before them. They dreamt mm-hmm. of stuff like that. When they, were, when they were dreaming that life, we were living it. Yeah. Their future was your past. It's crazy. Huh? What do you do? Their with future all was your past. No. Um. All of our past, as we go on, our past starts to become our future again. Because once we die, we get closer to our parents than we are to our children. Mm-hmm. We're further than our children than we are. We're closer to our parents because once we die, we're closer to them mm-hmm. and further from them. Mm-hmm. And they'd be that way with their children too. They'd be closer to us and further than there. Do you believe in be... an afterlife? If you don't mind me asking, an afterlife? Yeah. I don't believe that we're dying. I believe that once you die, that's when you begin to live. Mm-hmm. Transition. In, in, which, in which regard? In every regard. What do you mean? What regard? You think what my? Um, yes, my spirit is just what it is. Can you imagine? Yes, dying and waking up. You have something has to happen. You believe you're just gonna be black. My my faith wants me to believe that something else happens. And when I see new new children, I always feel like there's they know something I don't know. Maybe there's someone in that or something. But the logic in me, my critical thinking, says we're we're just matter like everything else and expiration date. And that's the critical thinker in me. Well, I mean that's the physical form. I, I refuse to believe that because yeah. I refuse to believe um. 
what is this? What do you think this is? Mm-hmm. How, how, can, how do you explain yourself? I come, I don't come from the school. I may subscribe to the theory that maybe life is meaningless and it's up to us to assign the meaning to the life. And not ecosystem meaningless. As human beings, like, I don't, I can't answer these questions, you get what I mean? And the deeper I go, the more critical I want to think about them, but I understand that our brain's only capable of thinking but, but so much. So even then, my brain stops me from overthinking. Every second you live, what are you doing? I feel like it's a Confucius question, am I dying? <laughs> Every second you live, what are you doing? What is that second doing? Experiencing? It's dying. Life is a beautiful process of dying. Once mm-hmm. it begin, the process begin. Yeah. I always looked at it at five points. You're born, you grow, you peak, you wither, you die. You hope, you know, you hope for that but cycle. Not yeah. everyone, but not everyone makes it to those five cycles. Right. I don't know who designed those five cycles. I don't know, that's just me, my, my critical thinking uh, mental construct. Mm-hmm. Who designed your, your, your age? I don't know. Julius Caesar. Yeah, you're right, because what if he didn't date it 300, 365 days in the, in the calendar? Yeah, but before you see the, the 365 days, how old were you? I, I mean, I don't even know shit. I mean, you're right. It, it's all a construct. How old are you now? I mean, these, these, these chicks think I'm 30-something. No, I'm lying. I'm 43. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but that's because Julius Caesar told you you're 43. Mm-hmm. Damn, the white man tricked me. Really, you're about 76. So I, I'm Morgan Freeman age. You know what I'm saying? No, you're probably like that nigga in the Bible, Methuselah. You're probably 3,000. Mm-hmm. You don't know how fucking old you are. Damn, bro. Already a gem, bro. Man, you're fucking with the goat right now. Yo, you could charge for life coaching lessons. You no, know no, no. Fuck. If, um, if I charge, then I'm a big fool. Mm. Just sharing knowledge. Yeah, well, what am I gonna get from that? Don Bishop Mott Juan would definitely disagree. Nah, he's a lot not, of he's not that way either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a good man. He's not no money grub preacher. He's not that way. No. Gotcha. This guy went super deep. Fuck, man. Yeah, you forget he knows these people. Yeah. Oh, God <laughs> All right, let's go bring it, bring it back to sh- yeah. Sh- this level. Yeah, let's go start Listen, this um, I st- little, all right, let's go back. I got some, I'm the weed fucking king, nigga. Yes, you are. All right. Let's talk about it, baby. Let's talk about it. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, Tyson 2.0. Yes, please, thank you. The toad. One yes. of my buddies is a big fan of the toad. I was with him yesterday. <laughs> Man, listen, I'm very grateful all this has happened. This is like a dream come true. I never in a million years thought I'd be able to sell um, products Mm -hmm. um, without going to jail. There's Mm -hmm. people still in prison right now for weed. Yeah. It's a slow process of reversal, but it's... And I'm and I'm and I'm the ganja god. Yeah, you are. I heard you're the ambassador to Malawi now. Listen. Cannabis ambassador to Malawi. Listen, stop I'm not gonna be arrogant, but I haven't I haven't I haven't taken that up. I haven't um accepted that yet. When I pull up. Right. If I pull up. If I pull up. I got so my wild old down here in California and right. Michigan and I, I, uh, New England coming too. Talking shit, but I'm very grateful for anybody yeah. that wants to do anything with me. Yeah, man. That's great, man. Y'all in 80 million states? Yeah, yeah, you in every state. Um, I'm in 18 states. Thanks. God, and, and everything's been great. How's the reception been? Um, more than I could ever imagine. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how certain people and their who they are and their brands extend further than, than what they're known for. You get what I mean? Like, I'm not going to buy, you know, the weekend fucking pizza. You know what I mean? He's a great singer. He's a great... It's some, some names transition and transcend genres. And it, it's very fortunate that you're one of those names and personalities and people, humans, that can transcend different genres. Because you started fighting, but now you're the cannabis god, you know? I, I used to think, I believe this. I believe whoever you think you are, good or bad, that's who you are. Mm-hmm. You're right. Whatever you think you are, you're right. You're, you're 100% correct. Because sometimes I'll tell myself like the worst evil thoughts. And I'm like, bro, why are you telling yourself this? This makes no sense. Like, Just tell yourself the opposite. Yes, but listen. Um, you know how many negative thoughts come through our mind? And now we got we to gotta say, we got to, um, we got we to gotta compare it with 
three times positive. That's just what that's the that's the um the gin that we're dealing with, the spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm negative. Fuck them. Why they making success and I'm not. That's the shit that we deal with. Mm -hmm. If we're if we're human beings, we don't have jealousy, we're liars. hundred percent. You're you're hundred percent correct. What are you jealous of? Huh? What are you jealous of? Hmm. Me. You know what I mean? Like it seemed like no, for a guy that has past. everything, what would you be jealous of? I'm jealous of a lot of things. I'm jealous mm -hmm. I'm one I wanna be more than I am. I wanna be God. You want to be God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I want to reign with him. Superpower. Yeah. More than just being superpower, I just mm -hmm. want to reign with God. I want to know what that that's all about. And um, as I get older, I'm 55. I, I get more. Um, I get more. Um, what I say? I get more of a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I get prepared for my expiration date, and it happens naturally. Mm -hmm. But at one point, you were a fucking god. You were as <laughs> close to. God status as any God. black man had ever entered that wasn't a royal conqueror of a nation that with lots of generals that was the pinnacle Michael Jackson Michael Jordan Michael Tyson hey we all got there by height with nothing but look look at us I'm getting old my ass hurt my knees <laughs> hurt we're nobody but at, but for that moment it's just a small moment. It seems mm -hmm. forever, but it's such a small moment. Yeah, it was a quick moment in time. How old were you in your fighting career from age? Um, t t 13 to what? Um, uh, what 40, well, you just had 40. a fight. Yeah, 13 to 40? Yeah. Yeah. Question. That's all I ever dreamt to do. That's all I ever, I never wanted to be nothing else. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, your whole life? Even when you were six or seven? No, I was I was in the streets. That's what once I started fighting, that's all I ever wanted to be. Once I got the idea of what fighting is all about. Mm -hmm. What is that? Rest the peace, custom Immortality. Up. Immortality. Yeah. You're fucking right. You're fucking right. And that's what I'm saying. You you were like, it was a moment, but that moment lives forever. As long as there's recorded history. Oh man. That moment where where you reign supreme you as a God your, on earth. You watch your greatest highlights on YouTube ever? Like your knockouts? That shit no, is fierce. No, um, <laughs> because You know what I'm talking about? Because that guy can't survive in this world. Interesting. That guy he survived in that world, but in this world he's he's boy, he's fucked up. Mm. <laughs> he's fucked up in this game right here. Uh. Entrepreneurship and all that. Yeah. He's fucked up. Wow. <laughs> That nigga attacked the president of the <laughs> company. Right. That nigga right there that right, you right. love so much. He attacked right, the right, company, right. company president. <laughs> like it's nothing. But you love him. He's a great champion. But that fucking attacked Sony's president. Right. Like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is your, your if you can recollect off the top of your brain, what do you think is your most vicious in-game, in-fight knockout? Oh, shit, I don't even think about that stuff no more. There's never been a moment like where you're like, oh, I just slit this nigga. Holy nah, shit. No, nah, I don't think about that. I try to think about the... Um, that's just deep. That's just deep. I don't think that way. The women in the after parties after? That's what you're thinking about? You're over? You're out nah, there? Nah, I'm, I'm not there no more. No, not then, not now. I'm, I'm talking about then. Back there, that was everything back then, yeah. Mm. How does that happen? How does it happen? How do you go... You're, you're training for a fight... You beat the brakes off someone in 20 seconds, mm -hmm. and now it's disco time and bitches. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Just like that. This thing is the <laughs> Just like that. That's no, how it but goes. from that comes, um, you might get a sexual disease, you might get a baby suit, you might get a sex charge. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, you skipped past it, but let's get into it. Oh, I skipped past nothing. Everything I hit. Oh. This is gonna <laughs> miss! Okay, yeah. okay. When you came home for parole, my, my buddy and know it all brought this up to me yesterday. It was his birthday. Shout out to Corey Wilson. And he said, Yo, Mike did his parole and probation in Youngstown. Out yeah, more. Because yeah. that's where my family's from. That's where he's from. He's where like, he's the, Youngstown. My mom's from Youngstown, Northside. Yeah. She's from, and she grew up in Warren, really. But he was like, He's still in Youngstown. He's been at the Southern Park Mall. Yeah. Damn, they had you. After you did the bid, you did a bid in Youngstown? That's like a double bid. Uh uh. That's a beautiful town, bro. I love that kind of life and that kind of living. Mm. Interesting. For my kind of lifestyle back then, it's all about savagery. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's where you want to be. <laughs> yeah. You want to be ferocious. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to YSU Penguins. Yeah, that's where you want to be when you want to be an animal. You don't want to be an animal in the city. You're going to get some lawsuits. You're right. going to be in trouble. Right, right. Like, you're yeah. right. You're right about that. They, they've never seen you downtown, south side, in Youngstown. Uh, they never seen nothing like that. Those are good people. 100%. That's oh, salt of the earth people. right there. 
good people. A hundred thousand percent. Ayahuasca. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard it, some people are like laughers. Some people are screamers. I saw some people are like criers. Like I heard uh, one person I know that she just screamed. The whole time. The whole time. Ah! Like, For how long? I don't know. I didn't ask. I yeah, just, I saw that one before too. I saw, ah! To keep holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like, holy yeah. shit. And you don't know what they're yeah. going to do. You right. Know? It um, just... I beg. Who's Please that? stop. Oh, God, no. Come after they told me. Really? Wow. I'm sorry, God, no. Please. I said, no, get the fuck out of here. I want them to film me one day, but, you know, I don't remember it, but I remember after I wake up, I'm crying. Really? Mm-hmm. And it's, um, when I come through, it's, it's like a downer coming to life. Mm-hmm. And if you've done it multiple times, why do you keep going back to it? Did you learn something new each time? Oh, I wanted to do it um, yesterday, but I had, I had so much stuff I had to do. I would do it every day. I would really? do it every day. Is it like the escape of it all? Because you, you seem no, to um, not remember like what's happening. It becomes a part of you. Right, right, right. Yeah. The, what every does it feel day. like? Yeah, what does it feel like? Compared to shrooms or whatever, you know? Like, that's the best bar I can give your acid. You know, that's the best bar I got. Sorry, Keenan. Um, what it's do all you good. do? You, you don't... You don't um, my brain is not sophisticated enough to um, to articulate what's really going on. Like, is it like a, a body tingle or it's more cerebral? Well, I don't know what it is. It's right. everything. Yeah. It's Are you everything. out of you body? You just got to do it. Huh? Are you out of body? Like, you know, a like K-hole where you see everything in a hole? Listen, um, you don't exist. Yeah. You step up outside yourself? You don't exist. <laughs> it's just bugged out, yo. Day. You're a gangster, bro. I'm going to try it once. Oh, oh I'm a, yeah, in that, in that perspective, I'm a gangster in yeah. the spiritual, um, yeah. psychedelic world. Yeah, yeah I'm a monster. <laughs> everything, um, lizard's tail, scorpion, everything. <laughs> what? You was a Snake, um, black cobra, white elves. And are you seeing those things? Huh? Are you seeing those things? No, like, you I'm know using, how sometimes I'm using, I'm using that venom. Yeah. The, 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 the shroom thing, shit. I'm talking about the right. toad doing the venom and snake venom, yeah. lizard venom. That's when you see you have an experience with God. It starts accessing chemicals in your brain that never get accessed until those things trigger up. No, look, right. we're born that way. We receive the feeling once we die and when we're born. It's mm-hmm. only two times we receive that feeling. And cool. ayahuasca gets you there. Ayahuasca is okay, but the toad is everything. The DMT. Toad. Ayahuasca is cool. Yeah, yeah, that's the baby. It's cool, yeah. TMT is the real deal. That's well, the toad. Um, the goat. The God molecule. God molecule. The God, God particle. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've, I've looked at it. The yeah. pineal gland. It goes yeah. the pineal gland. Ooh, I like you. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I'm a different kind of nigga. You know I know. I feel like I've been checking that out. I got a funny story. Let's transition. Oh. Where's Paroli? Where's, where's Paroli? Paroli. Paroli. Where you at, Paroli? Yo, let's try it, man. Paroli, why they call you Paroli? Paroli, come try it, man. Criminal. So this guy shit. comes in. He was standby line yesterday, ready? Mm-hmm. So I come in. I'm like, shout out to them, ten thousand. Standby line, ten thousand followers. Big Check time. them out. Thank you, sir. So this motherfucker's mixing on a couple of laughs. Can you say one thing? Yeah. I'm fucking freezing, nigga. Come yeah, can we turn down, man? Let's turn down. He's really cold. God, beat down this motherfucker's store. Fucking dying, man. Exactly, I got a jacket. Shit, cool weather. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. So this dude's mixing, right? I come in. I'm, I'm, I'm putting all. I, I carry all my weed in the back, and I like take it all. This out is Paroli. This is Paroli. But he doesn't use. He's, anyway, he's mixing. So I'm like, Paroli, you want to smoke? He's like, Yeah, you know, I've been smoking. Can I'm we like, smoke here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, this Light is up. fucking. Oh, this is just beautiful. Go ahead. What about Light Paroli up. now? So this dude's talking about. That's this dude's talking about yo. Give him uh, an ashtray. Oh yeah, yeah. This dude's talking about. Do we got an ashtray? Yeah, yeah. Just use this as an ashtray. Shout out to Seven Ten Labs. Yeah. Um. This dude's talking about, yo, I mean, whatever, I'll do an edible, I'll do edibles. So I take out some 10, hash milligram edibles, 10 milligrams each. Shout out to 710 Labs. Mm-hmm. I go, yo, you should just take half of this shit. Dang, sure, here. I was like, yo, you should take half of this shit. He's like, nah, nah, nah I'm good. <laughs> Takes the whole 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams, though. Of what? 10 Team milligrams of, of hash rosin, fucking gummy. Pops it, he's mixing. He goes upstairs, like 20 minutes later, use the bathroom. He comes down, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not making this up. He's shaking. He's convulsing. Like Are you this. overdosing? He's you like ever, this, eating been, in my ever, living room. You ever been high before Clark Kent? Nah. <laughs> nah. nah. Yo, so he's convulsing. 
He me, I'm a micro sing all day, Clark, get over here. I'm a micro sing all day, so I'm laughing, but trying to keep it under control. I'm laughing, trying to keep this guy under control. So I'm like, all right, let, first it's gonna, no, first just, it's gonna go. All right, let me get you some sugar. I give him my popsicle. This, this white soft N-word has the popsicle and he keeps, I can't control it. It's <laughs> mounting in his hand. I'm stuffing out paper towels like here, here for all This is on a weed gummy? Yes! He's like, are you sure that's weed in there? I'm like, bro, this is like a quadruple checked cannabis company. Well, where is that? You have more of that stuff? Right, right. Yeah, that's the gummy, yeah, let me yeah, check that shit out. Damn. Yeah, the other guys would do Jaleel White stuff. Purple, it's mm. purple stuff, right? Mm. So this dude's shaking. He's shaking like a fucking leaf. Damn, Mike Savage that. So he's fucking sitting there shaking like a leaf, right? So I'm like, yo, all right, Broly, breathe. I'm like, start breathing. In your nose, out your mouth. I'm playing Dave Chappelle so he can calm down and laugh. Let me get one of those. So he can calm down a lot. This guy's shaking like a leaf. I'm talking about like corky, like not. He's shaking, bro, like this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. He's like, oh, and he's going to the hospital. I was like, we don't need to go to the hospital. From this right here, from this right here, this shit right here. Yes. Oh, this thing was. How long did this last? How long did it go? How long was this for? Well, let me finish. So he's his wires are short circuiting, and I'm he's logical. He's a banker. I'm like, bro, logically it's gonna go away. Your brain's just, your body's reacting because your brain's sending fucking neurons. It's going crazy. And then I go, what's your sign? Pisces. Pisces. I'm a birthday just passed. How about you? Cancer. Uh, see, Pisces and Cancer, if you, were, if you were a chick, we'd be match made in heaven. The best, yeah. Exactly. So this thing <laughs> shaking like a leaf. I'm like, CBD. I had a defunct CBD company before we started You Already Know Podcast. I didn't get the fuck, nigga. Because I, I dropped it. It was over a well, pandemic. All the, I was selling single search CBD That's when I started. Listen, my, my <laughs> company got big when the pandemic. Everybody mm-hmm. in the house eat, yep. smoking and eating and shit, sure. gaining weight and yep. shit, getting divorced and separated. All the dudes that wanted to sell what I was going to sell switched to hand sanitizer and masks. So all my distribution end caps gone. So I have a couple packets I have like memorabilia. <laughs> I Look, go to my, right now no, that we can see. I don't. I go to my bedroom and grab a packet of oil that's two years old. It's like fucking Pulp Fiction. He's shaking. I rip the thing off. I give it to him. He double hands like a like a packet like a ketchup packet. And he's like, "Is this gonna work?" Hey, hey, hey nigga, let's just cut it off. Let's just cut the air off, okay? Can we just <laughs> stop the fucking air? Let's cut can it off. Can we get the AC off? Let's cut the fucking air off. <laughs> can we get the AC off? I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna fucking. Yeah, I'm getting ready to die. You think I'm fucking joking? I'm gonna fucking die here. They're doing it. They're doing it right now. They're doing it right now. Fucking got bumped. This man just managed to start punching the wall. That's what y'all want to see. shaking or from being cold. He's shaking. When I tell you in two minutes, he just stopped shaking. The CBD cut off the CHC receptors. I had read about it, but I didn't really like That's know some bullshit, I nigga. Swear to you talking fucking come in, nigga. Get no, over here. Come in, man. That's some what? fucking bullshit. Oh, no, okay. Okay. It, was, it was just all of a sudden I was like, went back to work. He went back to Michigan. It was like I went fucking, back to work. It was amazing, King. No, 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 That's no. crazy. It stopped it. See, I right, I read C B D cuts off the C H C receptors, right? When I sold it, that was one of my pitching shit. That bullshit. I That's gave him a fifty milligrams of the oil. I'm waiting for this shit to And it was over, bro. He stopped and went back to mix his standby line. That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't give white people edibles. Or, you know, no, know what you're doing out there, kids. Right that's Clark Kent, nigga. He ain't Superman, nigga. <laughs> he's, he's pre the booth. <laughs> he's pre the booth. You got the fucking eight. Hilarious. He's pre the booth. All right, so our next artist, we already so know records. He's the first lady. Oh, yeah, let's check him out. Let's well, check out this shit. Fun. There's another artist. Why you made me wait so long to see the next artist? Cause come on, baby. So we got that flow. Uh, right? Oh, shit. Let's go, hey, Amy. Hey, hey. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, fat ass white bitch. Yo, <laughs> nigga. Oh shit! Hey. I can't even say this shit. I wife I can't even she's say. She's lit. No, she's lit. This is lit. Like, <laughs> she's, like, she's been on the cover and everything. Come on, first lady. Cover what? Of our podcast. Let me see a cover. We sign all these bad bad acts. Well, they're not really signed, but they're really signed, but they're not signed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, nigga. Oh, thank you so much, brother. Technically, they can sign anywhere they want, but technically, they're signed to us. So, like, you know. But look, she's in Copenhagen with all the OGs. 
That's the projects of Denmark right there. Look at that. The guy with the dreads is the OG. And she's she's out. She's a Cardi B Copenhagen. There's a bit that needs to be important. Let me stop. He can't take him. Let me say that. She's dead dead. She's dead dead. Yes, that's our first lady. You already know that girl. It's AK. She's the goat. You not ready for this mic? You not ready for this entertainment? Are you not entertained? She's lit. She's lit. She's beautiful. <laughs> our label, our label is the best label that ever never existed. Y'all niggas don't give a fuck if you got a label. Well, yo, it's you already no records. We got, we got dreams, we Mike. Got, we got aspirations. We got dreams. We got a, yeah, like, they're signed, but they're not like signed signs. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You like, don't know these people. I thought you know No, I mean, they, they know us. We don't know them, but like, they know that we don't know them, but <laughs> that we know about each other not knowing each other. <laughs> if that makes sense. But they're signed to us. I'm, you stop lying. They ain't signed to you. They signed to us, bro. We did the show night deal. I said they were toilet paper. No offense. Oh, man. They were right toilet paper. So he had me shit. up here thinking y'all knew these people. You don't know these people. We've had them on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, know know them. Know them. we know them. They don't know us. Yes. Uh, but they know that we don't know them. All right, Mike. Let's get some <laughs> deeper stuff while we still got you. So, <laughs> I had a theory that... Yo, it's like, hey, yeah, he's yo, he's proud man. You heard that snarl? That's a snarl, but you better real. stop playing with this monster over here. That was real. That was real. <laughs> so we, we have a thing. Oh, I, I, I've been thinking about it. And when, when you live a blessed life. Now, what, blessed, was the, what was the last artist's name? Amy Cammy, I believe. Amy Cammy. We'll put it on the, in, the, in the video. We'll put it in the thing. <laughs> oh, thanks, oh, give me, give me, you can't take what? it. Wait till I end it. Fuck y'all, uh, niggas. Give <laughs> that no motherfucking dog. These niggas don't exist. It all could happen. If there's a market, it seems like there's a market. Y'all got to fuck with me. No! Fuck you. They're not signed, but they're signed. Nah, that's bullshit. They're down, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? They're not like, it's, it's blood in, blood out. It's tricky. You know what I'm saying? It's nuance. I can't say what I want. Let's just turn these moves. These, these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got so happy. I can't say what I want to say. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Holy man. Shit. So, all right. Mm, 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 I have this mm, mm, thought. Mm, mm. Those are... Go ahead. Go ahead. You we're... do not listen. We're open platform. This is explicit podcast. Yo, guys, a fuck with me. You do not have those people in the contract. No, you they're not in the contract. You but they're signed. No, they're not. You the lying. contract is there if they want to take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, it's like you in Malawi, bingo. Or you the ambassador to Malawi, but you haven't accepted yet. So they haven't signed the deal, but they're signing you already with no records. Who else is going to sign them? Who else? After this, you know, they might get signed. Yes. Yeah, I'm an actor too, and I know an actor, the actor lies, should have been the face came <laughs> and turned. So bro, this isn't punk, man. I don't want to get <laughs> slapped by you. I'm good. That, that nigga should be the actor, huh? No, mm -hmm. I'm, you see, he's doing all the performance. You ever did a movie, a show, anything? Like nah, nah, nah. I'm just, I, see, I, I get my joy making funny dudes laugh. I'm like, you know what I mean? Instead of like, yeah, but you be lying. Why are you lying? <laughs> I'm saying, fuck these brothers are working together, even though they got. The, <laughs> no, I can't say your name. Oh man, yeah. they, they would cancel my show by saying what I was saying. Yo, say. it's Big Apple Records on Five Hearts. They do me like they do Trump. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care this shit if I say what I want to tell you. Oh, your name, oh, no, don't say your name, that. Oh, your name's got me they mad. They are signed, but they're not signed. Oh, uh, nigga, you're lucky. I these, are, these are our hopes and dreams. Yes. That's how we talk. We uh, talk yes. in our dreams. I can't wait till we get off the air. Oh, yes. you about to hear it. <laughs> yes. you about to hear it. Yes. Uh, all right. Those are some cool ass kicks. Yeah, all right, so I got a question. Let, yeah, let's yeah, just let, yeah, let's just me. let's talk about my questions, guys. Let's let, let, let's get let, let's get a little bit deeper here, real quick. When you live a blessed life, I've realized that even 
a blessed person's lows are most people's highs. Case in point, maybe. Go ahead. The worst life I ever had was blessed. Thank you. That was my point. Yeah. You, this is all blessed. Mm -hmm. Me going to jail, being in prison 10, 20 years, it's all blessed. I'm still breathing. This is blessed. Mm -hmm. It's all blessed, nigga. It's up to us to make it happy or sad or whatever. There's no right. such thing as um, suffering, only self-suffering. Suffering doesn't even exist in humanity, but self-suffering does. For sure. My dad was born in a mountain in a village in, in South Africa and made his way out. What kind of shit was that? In Venda. He was born in Venda. Yeah. He was born in a mountain in Venda, the only boy. He had to walk to school like crazy miles every day. He worked at a golf club in a part time. And his life don't worth shit, don't worth peanuts. Oh, his life sucked back then. He's yeah. rich now. Life He's falling. peanuts. Now he made his way out. Columbia educated, balled out, you know? But what I meant by that is... Even when it's bad, it's good. Absolutely. Even when it's bad, it's good. You want it to be. It, but it, it is. Like, if you, you think listen. about your worst moments, I mean, they're not even if bad. you can see that, there's a lot of people that can't see that. You know what no, I'm saying? No, it's no, good they that you share that. It. Yeah, they hold, they like, I mean, some people like to dwell in the suffering, suffering almost, to feel power. something. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people like yeah, to just. That's their power. They let it go, then nobody. It, it gives yeah. them meaning. It gives them meaning. Yeah, but that's so the they, my purpose. So they let it go, then nobody. They're like everybody. So how do you make somebody see that letting it go doesn't make you nobody? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you convince them of that? Like, I'm not you can just let it go. Deal. This is the deal, right, chill. Mm -hmm. When life starts kicking your ass so much and you stop being a glutton for pain, hey, what do you need me to do? I submit. Right. You don't have to change. You're going to submit. Right. You're going to fucking like submit, nigga. Yeah. You're not going to win. No, you're right. <laughs> right. Our pride, our ego, is gonna, it's gonna fall. We're not gonna mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. We're gonna lose all our friends, everything we ever loved. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was homeless, I had to reset. Even I was trying. I was going couch to couch, California, New York, everywhere, just trying to hang on. I was like, it's a wrap. I'm going back to Ohio for, mm -hmm. for a year. I need to just reset. It's over. It's over. I want to visit my mom, and I'm gonna reset. Submission. Submission. No. Um, like that. I just didn't think about it. Like the struggle was beautiful. Oh no, it's the best thing ever. Struggle is beautiful. Without no without struggle without struggle, there's no progress. No hundred percent. There's no, no appreciation. No struggle, no progress. There's no character. Without rain, there's no sunshine. You know on the perfect world. Do you know in the perfect, listen, listen, brother, do you know, do you know in the perfect world everybody got everything we want? We, we die. Yeah. In the perfect world, no racism, nothing. We die. Because there's nothing to go for. There's nothing that No, we break up in packs. And it'd be us against them. And then we'll start fucking. No more mating. No more nothing. There was a study we did with the rats. Really? The utopia, rat utopia. They had everything they wanted. Then they break up in packs. Mm. Then some other mother vicious ones, some other bullies. And then they have some that are tough, don't fuck with them, but that's their gate fly all day. All day they just want to be beautiful. What? Yeah, they break up in packs. And then eventually they stop mating. And then they all die out. That's a perfect world. Without struggle, there's no progress. God damn, bro. Perfect world. Because we are rats. There's no doubt about it. You're in the rat race. Yeah. And even though you win, you're still a rat. Mm-hmm. Damn, I went too deep, bro. That's dope, but that's Keep true. going, man. It's true. So question. When is it cool to be content and not comfortable? And when is it cool to be comfortable but not content? I don't know. I miss who I am. Mm -hmm. That's something people have to deal with within themselves. Why do you have to be uncomfortable? Yeah, what's making you uncomfortable these days? Like, why would you bring, besides like the pursuit of, you know, business or whatever, you know, relationships, we talk about him being newly single and shit a lot. Yeah, 12 year relationship ended that. You know, like what's itching you? You know what I'm saying? Like that you don't feel is it like being worthy of, you know, being comfortable? Like you feel like you haven't earned a certain milestone in your life that you wanted for yourself type shit or whatever? Like what is making you have an uncomfortable feeling? At this point, I'm not uncomfortable, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable, but I'm not content. Right. But I'm scared of... You're afraid of your shadow. You know what your shadow is? Your shadow is what you want. You don't want no one to know about you. You're all that. 
go laughing. We have our collective thinking. We have our uh, incollective thinking. We have our shadow. We have our persona, our ego. Secrets, man. You got secrets, man. We all have secrets. He's not the only one. Mm-hmm. Is it the shadow? Shadow's big, ain't it? Damn, this is fucking. This is yeah. like some AMC. It's fucking this is like some A&E. Y'all are also like A&E fucking special now. No, we have, we have, <laughs> I know, now I'm thinking deep, it. deep. We have secrets that will shadow our souls. Yeah. It's good to keep your secrets. Right. God Just be in control of it, man. Stop. Oh, my brain. All right, fuck it. So I heard on, I saw Jamie Foxx on Full Send recently. Shout out to the Dalton Boys. And he told a story about him being in a nightclub with you. And you walking up to a young lady and going, you like cars? And then apparently, <laughs> I'm not going to imitate this guy. And then apparently you opened up a BMW dealership and was like, pick a car. And just bought a check of Beamer on the spot. Sight unseen. You ain't even popped it yet. You just dig, right? I never bought a bitch a Beamer. Maybe a Benz or something, a Porsche or a Ferrari. Oh, this I never bought a fucking Beamer, what the fuck a Beamer, nigga? I didn't want me. We never bought no bitch, no Beamer, man. Maybe the Benzo or some shit. Maybe if, I mean? if, if, if a friend of mine you know had it, I let her hold it. But I don't know. Fuck all that Beamer nah, shit. I'm, Here's a lesson, kids. I, no, Mike nigga, Tyson doesn't buy bitches Beamers. No. <laughs> yeah. I started tricking, nigga. Yeah, it's nobody with a bigger trick than me. Did it feel good? Huh? Did it feel good when you were drinking? When I ate, everybody ate. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about! Yeah. That's just how it is. That's where I come from. If I eat, everyone eats. Even if it's just a bitch you just met. Huh? Even if it's a chick you just met, she gets to, she gets to live. You just hold that. What's wrong with her? You were future before. Future was future, bro. Mm -hmm. Tell me about future. Future the apparently rapper. buys all those wa women watches. They get an uh, Audemars Piguet bust down if they're one of his. If he's bust, if he's heading them, you get the Audemars. Here, hold that. $100,000 watch. That's his thing. And I was a different kind of guy. I, was, I wanted to, um, I, was, I, was, I had to be in the best shape. I wanted to, it wasn't, um, it was just my ego. Mm -hmm. I would never fuck somebody overweight. I was always pristine, perfect, mm -hmm. and kept mirrors and just, it just went with the whole ego, the champ, who I am, the best. It's just, it's just, I, it's just the way I was. Is what I wanted to do. So at the time that you got in married first, why did you marry Robin Givens? If you don't mind me asking, you were at the, you were, you were rising. You weren't even at the top. You were still, and then marriage. I don't know. I have a big, you know. Um, periodically, at times, I have this fucking big, fucking deep, fucking hole in me. Mm -hmm. Every time, every now and then, it's not activated now, but it activates every now and then, and I just want it all. It's not enough. The world Can't is not fill enough. it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drugs not enough. Pussy right. not enough. Nothing not enough. Right. It's so it's so fucking big and makes you sober. Cocaine nothing. Oh fuck, nigga. Mm -hmm. Do you try to fill the hole or do you try to just walk around it and just know it exists there? Do I try to fill it? It eats. You can't control it. He Do I not, try to feed the whole? He said it's not activated right now. <laughs> Do I try to feed the whole? Thank the whole when, not it, in activation when it activates, it eats. Yeah. I don't. I can't control it. The whole nigga. The whole. <laughs> That's just like the shit in Star Wars Three. The the shit that just eats. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm Yeah, it's just there to eat. Wow. So when when it is activated, like, do you know how to deactivate it, or you just got to go through the process? I gotta go to um, I gotta go to rehab and all mm. that shit. Right. I gotta go to counseling. Right, right, yeah, right. When I activate, I'm I'm I'm, I'm depleted. I'm, I'm a surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to reset. Huh? You need to reset essentially. That's not even reset. I need to survive it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna it's, it's job is to kill me, but to be happy with me just being miserable. Mm. Wow, that's his job. His job is to kill me, but to be cool with me just being a miserable nigga. <laughs> Man, let's brighten this shit back up. No, Here's no. another one of our artists, bro. You get no. I ain't looking at your motherfucker. Yes, let's go. I'm not. Let's doing go, Michael McTrack. Let's go, Mike. Michael Come on, McTrack. Mike. Get ready. Get yeah, ready, Mike. <laughs> get ready. Come on. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. You're 
fighting it. Surrender. Surrender. Come on, bro. Don't disrespect the artist. Don't disrespect the artist. Tell him. This is Tell him. Hey. Michael McTrap. Yeah, listen, listen. Yo, when you made a fool out of me. When you make a fool yeah, out of me? When you make a fool out of me? That's not the point. That's not the point, I swear to God. That's not the point. No, because I'm not the no, a dupe. Fool, no, I'm a fool if I believe this shit is no, real. No, 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 are actually making these videos and we would sign them if we had a record label <laughs> and we would yes. put them on tour because and, it would be hilarious and week to week we put them on every podcast that's so all our greatest hits of the last hundred episodes that, that's our little world we living in yeah uh, we got dreams we got dreams you put me down here for these niggas to do this shit <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> I thought we were bonding. This dude's out here, man, because a humpback chunk. I thought we bonded too. You're some bullshit ass nigga. Oh, yeah, I thought this was a good person. He's a good person. You're a good person. You hit me with that. I would never do that Malcolm X is looking down upon the us. Internet, okay, the internet is very funny, man. There are very funny people out there making these It's shits. amazing. So we're, basically, we're celebrating these creators out there online, basically, by putting this shit on blast. Yeah. It's, it's the man with, um, I mean, this nigga has no um, comments, it's cool, collective, <laughs> cool, collective, man. Right? That's yeah. how it is. That's what we already know. Thinking very That's clear. That's the podcast. That's the point. That's the yin and yang. We talk about balance. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all guys, guys watching this shit. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, no one knows about us. We're hitting gems. Uh, we're hitting gems. How long has he been here, man? We can't keep this man yeah, yeah, all day. We're, 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 he's always out of here. I just got one last question. Final question. It's the last question. Ready? Come on. I need you on the mic. I need you on the mic. It's one question. It's a serious question, but it's not a serious question, but it's not a serious question, but it's a serious question. <laughs> all right. This nigga's like looking at shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One time. Not for the shoes. You allowed to sell those? Nah, I'm not a big shoe. They're allowed. I mean, in the yeah. store, they sell them, yeah. That's oh, wait, that, come on. Let's go with the next shoe. Last yeah. question. Last question before we get you out of here. Crunch match. Mm -hmm. Alexander the Crate. Genghis Khan. Julius Caesar, the OG one. Bruce Lee. Kimbo Slice. And you. Royal Rumble style in your prime. One got to go. Each one in descending order till the last one wins. And what are you talking about? Like Royal Rumble, just fight. Who, 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 who do you think one on one? Between. Who's gonna win? Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Bruce Lee, Kimbo. Genghis Slice. Kong is gonna um, Genghis Kong is gonna win because he he conquered more land than everyone. But can he do it by himself on the hands? Excuse me. Can he do it with his hands one on one? No, he doesn't have to do it with hands. People will die for him. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to understand. You commanders, you don't have to fight people to fight die and fight for you. King is kind of a fat fuck, a little chubby little guy. He can't beat nobody. So he can't be. He's out. No. Yeah, he's out. He's out. He's chucked out the ring. But listen, These are all generals. The, 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 <laughs> the only <laughs> person throwing hands no, is listen, Bruce Lee and, and Mike. Let me, Mike tell, you, let me tell you something about Genghis Kong. Genghis Kong at one time, before he was Genghis Kong, some guys ripped him off, stole his wife. Right. And then he had this other guy that became his brother's friend. He was a bad mother, but he wasn't a nice person. So he went back and he... Help Genghis get his wife back. His wife was mm. pregnant, but he still took her back. Wow. And um, the guy who helped him, he said, don't ever tell somebody we we raided these people for your wife because I got five wives. I could have gave you one of my wives. Right. But he he did it. But he had he had eventually killed his brother because he didn't treat his men right. When Genghis won something, he gave all the all the rewards to his, to his um, soldiers. And so they didn't like him anymore. Mm. And Genghis Khan got became the king. So Genghis is out the ring, off rip. No, Genghis wins. How's he gonna win if he's trying to fight you on the one D and Kimbo Slice? Kimbo no, Slice fucking him win. up. He's gonna win. Yeah, he, he's gonna win. 
Genghis Khan. Yeah, he, Genghis, Genghis Khan's win. Genghis Khan is a god. That's he rigged. has a god. He gets people. To, the people fight for them. They have champions. What about Julius like, Caesar? Win, what about Alexander the Great? They don't got champions. They have champions too. too. So, well, who's champion will win then? Who? Julius Caesar, Alexander the Great, and Genghis Khan. Their champions <sighs> versus who's gonna win? I'm using Genghis Khan because he can more. Still? Huh? Still, Genghis Khan's best I have, fighter. I think. I just think um, their method of fighting was um, superseded Alexander's. And um, the, the Caesar, Caesar, mm. yeah. What about Kimbo Slice though? Kimbo Slice couldn't do nothing. <laughs> no, we're, we're over, our, we're over our head in this kind of shit. Man. Damn. I was hoping Kimbo Slice would be giving them a run for their money. Nah, nah. Rest in peace. Rest we're, in peace. When I, I was, the, I was, um, I was there that that particular night when he passed. Word. Really? I saw that fight. I was mm. there. Damn. R.I.P. All right, we can't leave on a somber note. Um. Mike, here's I like you. You're difficult pipe. You're so happy. You ought to be happy all the time, nigga. And then tell right, sad with them shadows. Tell those shadows hit me. Shadows are interesting. Mm. Those shadows are. Those shadows are. Shadows are, are, shadows are real. Shadows so are we're gonna let Mike exit on our last. Are you gonna do that? Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. We appreciate oh, you. You got my last artist. Last yeah. artist. You this ready is, for him? This is Dominican Usher. This is Dominican Usher. Don't lose your girl me to play a career. I see my nigga career. Hey. Okay, okay, I kind of like this guy. I kind of like this guy. Yeah, I mean, that, that's actual Usher, but then there's another guy dubbing nah, nah. over it. Get, hey, it sounds good, right? Him. It's funny. Yeah, him, exactly. Him, Come on. Beautiful, beautiful, right? It's so good. Off key, I would definitely buy it. No you know, like see, you definitely gonna buy it. Definitely buy it. Ay, ay, ay. He's beautiful. I love this guy. There you go. It works. It's classic, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on, bro. Thank you. Yeah, man. This is Listen, a, we appreciate your time, man, Mike. Tell me more about this podcast, man. We <laughs> <laughs> just two motherfuckers that like conversating and fucking around, and like we've been doing it so long. We yeah, yeah, niggas got followers and shit. We're small. You know, we un poquito, un poco, un poco. We don't really. We do, don't promote. We doing it we for us. You know what I'm saying? So we're for fun. We about to blow it up. I need your niggas to come over my. We definitely will. We're pulling up. In a Can heartbeat. We, we, we want to pull up. We're pulling hey, when up. When we gonna get these guys? So, hey, Ash. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, so they are. Let me go get these call. niggas. They gonna be on my show soon? Yeah, whatever you When you gonna do it? Do it tomorrow. Can you do it tomorrow? You can't do it tomorrow? We can do it tomorrow. Oh, I wanna get your niggas on the show. Oh, yeah, we can do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we can do it tomorrow. Yeah, we pull up. Oh, oh, man, look how it's going up. Oh, we going up. Oh, Part two. Well, once it's you check that schedule, schedule, Mike, thank you. Just it's been comparable. It we has appreciate been, man. We no, appreciate no, no, no. I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna get millions and millions of people watching you. Bro, appreciate I'll be, you, man. I don't, I'll, I'll be scared. I want to cancel. Man. How many million? Probably close. Excuse me, ma'am. Fantastic. I don't Incredible. Damn. Incredible. I hope none of them are SJWs. We ain't getting canceled. Hopefully we got all the disclaimers. You know yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I disclaim everything. I apologize after everything. I apologize for That's anything all. I said. Before no, or after, no. my bad, guys. Hey, guys, it's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow, we could do and say anything. Look, look how excited he is. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. debate anything. Let's do anything. You could have done oh that here. You could have done But no, we're going to do that there. Part two. Score. Thank you. This is like, who I already know. Don't guy. leave him hanging. He's Keeney Thompson. I'm Tiny Roll. This is motherfucking I am Mike Tyson. The god, the man, the myth, the legend. He's iller in real life than he is on camera. That's why you left me hanging, motherfucker. No, what do you mean? You were not looking before you gave me the day. Yeah, right, right. Man, come over here. Too, oh, look at that. Nah, nah, fuck that. Bring it in. Come on, come on. Day. Bring it in. Not a side hug. Don't side hug a nigga. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Love. Well, Thanks, everybody, on. for watching. Come on. Don't do that. Come on. Episode 100. There hey, you go. That's man. love. That's love. You're in Youngstown, bro. That's it. Episode 100. Word, man. You're in Youngstown. So, you're, the more, bro. You're a country nigga. Dude. I'm a real <laughs> bumpkin city nigga. <laughs> All right. That's, it, we're right, that's it, baby. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. This has been a Gradients production.